Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Logitech G Pro X, an affordable, comfortable, and interesting gaming headset from Logitech. Now, I've recently unboxed this headset, and I'd recommend checking out that video because you get close up views of the headset and a nice look at all the different things that you get in the box. But this is going to be a review video to talk to you about how I feel about the headset now, I've had a bit more time to play with it, and what I think, whether it's worth purchasing. I'm also going to be covering the various features, including the highlights and lowlights of this headset and talking about the main selling points of it, one of which is this microphone. The microphone is a bendable, flexible microphone, but the selling point for it is that it comes with customizable software. It has Blue Voice software, which is a piece of software within Logitech's G Hub that allows you to customize on the fly the audio that you are capturing and therefore do things like noise cancellation and adjustments to improve the quality of your voice for a live recording. That's perfect if you're looking to stream or do anything like that. We won't be able to do any post processing to improve the audio and tidy it up a bit. For this video, I am using the microphone for the voiceover. Blue Voice is not turned on at the moment because I wanted to give you a sample of what it was like as a raw thing without that. However, if you want to hear what it sounds like with all the different settings on, stick with me until the end of the video where I'll be going through showing you the software and talking about the various settings. I also used the Blue Voice software in the unboxing video where I also used the microphone with Broadcast 1 setting on which shows you the difference between the two and the headset has a very good microphone delivery and that software is obviously an extra bonus. The other thing, the selling point of this headset is it's affordable and yet comes with a very premium design. It's a nice looking headset, it's understated, it has some very good premium design features to it, very comfortable ear cups, very nice headband design, solid steel aluminium build that's very bendable and flexible and it sits nicely on the head. It also comes with multiple connection options, well mostly all 3.5mm connections. So for example I'm plugged in with a 3.5mm braided cable here, you can see there's a clip to clip I'll put you in clothing, a remote control with a volume wheel and a mic mute button that you can use. And that is plugged into my PC via the digital to analog converter, which does the processing to give you a DTS Headphone X 2.0. It's virtual surround sound, 7.1 the virtual surround sound, but only works on PC. That DAC will not work on console. You need to use 3.5mm connection on console, which means that you only have stereo sound then, which is an unfortunate downside to what is on paper otherwise an excellent headset. Also for me, you only have 3.5mm connection, means I can't use it with my phone. They obviously intended to use with consoles where you can use 3.5mm connection or with phones people happen to have a 3.5mm connection on your phone, that's fine. I don't, most modern smartphones don't from what I know, so that's a bit of an issue and it's a shame there's no USB-C connection or anything like that. However, if you're just planning on using it on PC, then this is an excellent headset that does very good delivery of sound, very good comfort and all-round goodness. There are, have been a few minor niggles though. I found, for example, the Logitech G Hub software was a bit of a faff to set up. It wouldn't recognize the headset and uh, that meant that the DTS Headphone X wasn't working properly and I was essentially using it in stereo mode and then virtual had no virtual surround sound and ended up losing quite a few games online because I couldn't hear enemies sneaking up on me. I eventually managed to get it to work by uninstalling it and reinstalling it several times and uh, finally it worked and now the sound is much better. However, I can say that the sound in general, like listening to music and watching movies and things like that, is very good. It's a very good, rich audio delivery, very good soundscape, really nice experience. Um, also, the ear cups are large enough to cover the ears, and if you're using the faux leather ear cups that this comes with, I'll talk to you about in a second, that blocks out a lot more external noise, and therefore you get a very good surround sound experience, a very good sound experience, and a very comfortable fit. As I said, these headphones come with this cloth finish ear cups. They also come with a faux leather ear cups and you can swap them out. They're included in the box though. It's nice to get a choice between the two. I prefer the cloth ones. They're very soft, but both are very good. The faux leather obviously block out a lot more external noise. As I said, it's nice to get that option in the box. These headphones are comparable to Astro's A40 head headset and that 
you have to purchase extra mod kit in order to upgrade for the faux leather ear cups to block out external noise and get that improvement so it's nice to see logitech including this addition in the box for free and then you get the choice and you can switch between the two depending on your preference or circumstances you might find that you want to use it for comfortable fit most of the time and then focus on noise cancellation at night for game or something i don't know um, however i found that with either of them it's very comfortable all day long it's got a very good solid build to it a very flexible headband a very nice ear cup sit nicely on the head it doesn't clamp too hard but it's not too loose either it's not flying off my head or anything and it, it just does a good job of sitting nicely on the noggin all day long another downside i found is very occasionally and it's not happened too often but it does make me think there's a problem potentially there's been a slight crackle in the audio the sort of which you'd get when you've been using the headphones for a long time and the cable started to break at one end and it's just crackling at least so slightly or like a loose internal connection or something however it's been very rare and I've just switched USB ports and played around with that a bit and it hasn't cropped up too often but there's been a few times and I've sat there and thought, what's that noise? And it turns out it was just a crackle on the head headset. And it's very odd and it's not like the microphone. As standard also, there's no side tone on the microphone. You have to dive into the G-Hub software to change it. And there's nowhere to change that on the fly. So although you have the volume wheel and the mic mute button on the remote control, which is on the cable, there's no controls on the headset itself. So you have nothing where you can change side tone or volume on there and no easy mute button on that either obviously you also don't know when you're muted apart from the button is red when it's muted and not when it isn't there's no lighting or anything like that there's obviously no rgb lighting or anything either however if you're looking for a headset that just has an understated appearance and does a good delivery of sound then this might well be it the Drivers are 50 mil drivers that are capable of delivering 20,000 hertz in terms of frequency response. On PC, you can make that up to 48,000, which is actually a decent mass with the DAC plugged in. As I said, that's where you get the best experience. On console, you only get the 3.5 mil connection stereo. The sound might not be as good. It's not something I can try out, unfortunately. However, I do, I do think that these are very good earphones for the amount of money you're paying very good quality uh, I would seriously consider them as an option if you are looking at this price range and want something that delivers a very comfortable fit maybe you're a PC gamer and you want uh, virtual surround sound but still an understated look and feel comfortable fit capable microphone obviously with that extra addition of the blue voice software to allow you to customize it all in all it's been a pretty decent experience uh, compare it with a few other headsets of similar nature so please check out the versus videos on my channel and i'll link to those in the description but otherwise it's a great headset great looking great sound would recommend thanks for watching here we are in the g hub software so uh, as a default this is what you see cmos c920 ancient webcam and the logitech g pro x now in here, you'll know I have enabled Blue Voice, so turn it off and you'll see the sound goes back to what it was a minute ago when I was doing the review and then I've got it set here so you can see you've got different ones that you can go through. I'll quickly go through some of these and see so you can see what the difference is. You've got the G2 Shocks, London Spitfire Profit, TSN I don't even know what that is. They're obviously different settings for these are from like pro esports gamers broadcast settings. And then you have various presets AM radio, broadcaster one, broadcaster two, FM station, high voice loud, high voice soft, low voice loud, low, low voice soft. And you can create your own by changing various things on here so you can create a new one and you can change the high bounce filter the DSR it's probably might sound awful I can't hear it doesn't change it in the side tone but you can what you can do is you can set a recording I'm not going to do that now because it will sound awful where you set a recording you do a sample of voice so you say something like say hello this is the provoke prawn it's going to 
turn this off for a minute so it's not awful. Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a test to show you what the different audio recordings are like. And this is the standard voice, and then I'll change it between the other ones. Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a test to show you what the different audio recordings are like. And this is the standard voice, and then I'll change it between the other ones. Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a test to show you what the different audio recordings are like. And this is the standard voice, and then I'll change it between the other ones. Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a test to show you what the different audio recordings are like. And this is the standard voice, and then I'll change it between the other ones. Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn. Standard voice, and then I'll change it between the other ones. Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a test to show you what the different audio recordings are like. And the that last one's not too bad, actually. Blocking out the noise cancellation is good. I'm just going to turn it off again. You can see you can adjust all that and customize it the way you want it, and that does it live. So it affects your voice live without any post process. And normally, what I'd do is capture the audio with Audacity and then edit afterwards for voiceovers. Uh, equalizer, that's obviously the sound that you're hearing. I've got it set to FPS at the moment, but there are various other ones you can choose from. Uh, Esports Pro presets, there you go, it is a DSM, guys. They've obviously got it set at a specific way they like it. And you'll note down here it says update onboard memory, so you can pick which one you want and then set it. I'd imagine if you're playing on console, you can just set these to whatever you want, click save and update onboard memory, and then it'll store that in there. And then hopefully you'll get that sound through the 3.5 mil. That's not something I can test, unfortunately, because I don't really have a 3.5 mil connection. In here you can see the surround sound options. You'll note, as I said, DTS Headphone X 2.0 only works on PC via the DAC. You can also adjust side tone levels. So like, as default, there's no side tone, which I hate. And actually I've found that if the G-Hub software isn't launched, sometimes there's no side tone as well, which is very frustrating. You can go through different sorts of uh, virtual surround sound options and then you can test them here. And you this can adjust. is the left channel. Next, we have the center channel. You probably won't be able to tell what, how that's working, but you can hear in the headphones when it's going through each one. And it's pretty good. It does a good sound delivery, uh, reasonable. And then up here we have some, you can see, enable hardware noise reduction. And that's about it. It's fairly straightforward user software. Uh, you can create custom profiles for the different games and things as well but you can see the main point is the voice and then there's little bits for equalizers and turning the surround sound on and off because you can disable it as well although without it you're just playing in stereo and it's not great for gaming hope you found this video useful thanks for watching this has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, or hilarious. Be sure to subscribe and check out these other videos, as well as taking a look in the description for links and information you might find useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see extra about this. And have a great life.